Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today as we review the Core Commerce Shopping Cart Platform. For those of you that are new, Core Commerce is a hosted shopping cart system. What this means is it allows you to create an e-commerce store with very little technical skills, which means you don't need to worry about servers, SSL certificates, upgrades, or functionality. The platform provider does it all for you. All you need to do is add your products, market your site, and handle the sales. So Core Commerce is similar to other carts we reviewed in the past, including Shopify, Big Commerce, and others. And choosing the cart that works for you is both one of utility, meaning what functionality do you need, and personal favorite, which ones do you like working with. So without further ado, let's get started. So Core Commerce is like other hosted carts, and they carry a monthly fee based on needs. So, for example, starting out, besides this little promo plan they have right now, most people are going to be in these two, maybe three plans, which starts out at $24.95 a month. So there's no transaction fees associated with it. It is a flat fee, so you don't need to worry about extra costs. And within this first plan, you get 250 products. So uh, that is actual products, not SKU. So if you have a t-shirt that has three sizes, that's one product with three sizes. Some shopping carts will charge you by SKU. This is by product. And within this, you also get two gigabytes of bandwidth. I'm sorry, two gigabytes of bandwidth and one gigabytes of storage. And once you get up to the $69.99 a month plan, you do get unlimited bandwidth. I wish they did it for the lower plans, uh, but each card has to price it appropriately. So just to give you a little background, I had tried using Core Commerce a while ago, maybe two or three years ago when I was starting to build my own e-commerce sites, and I just couldn't get my head around it. Uh, but in that time, they've definitely made great strides since then. And so I started exploring it for a customer of mine that had very specific needs that the other carts would not fulfill. And as I started playing with the cart, I started enjoying it, and I figured I would do this review for you. Now, while I didn't use it for this existing customer, it is something I can probably suggest right now. So let's take a look at some of the features that they have. It is uh, a pretty robust shopping cart. It has um, pros and cons with each. Um, but what I do like is they have a lot of control over the look and feel. Besides the various themes that they have for you to work with, they allow you to control the look and feel of those themes through the use of widgets. Uh, they actually have an integrated affiliate program, which means you can pay people to refer others to your store. It's called performance-based marketing for those who don't know. And in addition to the normal Google Shopping and other comparison shopping feeds, they also do provide a fee to Bing, which is one of the few shopping carts to do it and it's useful because Bing is free. It also includes such things as reward points, refer a friend, and one of the things that stuck out for me is you can actually allow customers to sign in with their Google account, their Facebook account, and their Twitter account. And then finally, they also have an internal autoresponder newsletter system if you don't want to go out and get a third party one. So some of the cons, well, they do have an integrated blog. It is very basic, uh, meaning you can publish and you can uh, write it up, but you can't schedule things, and there's not a whole lot of control over it. Uh, the third-party ecosystem is not nearly as developed as, let's say, Shopify or BigCommerce. Uh, so if you want to use some other companies to help you with your marketing, um, they're not really built in compared to those two other carts. And while it supports the main payment systems such as Authorized Net and Google and PayPal, it doesn't support Stripe yet, which is a great platform for new store owners. Um, there is no social store. So while they do have a login with Facebook, they don't have a social store that will go on your fan page pad, uh tab. And then with all the widget control they gave you, they missed out on one that I think is important, which is search by size. And then again, like I said before, there's no unlimited bandwidth uh, at the lower levels. And given the price of bandwidth, I wish they would provide that as well. But, you know, they don't, so you just have to deal with it. And you can come in here and you can see all the various, all the various different things that can be done with it. Um, they do have a nice little support portal, which includes webinars, video tutorials, um, you can even do searching for particular answers, um, and then there's, you can always call up someone and ask some questions as well. So, you know, when you log into the system, you're going to come into this main dashboard portal right now, um, and this is where you're going to work uh, on any orders, adding products and categories, and changing the design. So, you know, obviously it's fairly straightforward. Orders, customers, inventory, which is your categories and products, uh, site content, so uh, whether it be pages that you want, 
uh, different widget settings, designs where you'll start out with first, and then even marketing such as uh, your product feeds, coupons and gift certificates, um, reward points, and others. So, and then obviously up here you'll play around with some of those other ones. So, you know, when you go into your design, it gives you a lot of functionality. So you can play with your fonts, your borders, your colors, uh, your headers and your footers, and how you want those to look. Uploading your logo changing your navigation, changing your sidebar, sidebar widgets, and if you want to get really crazy, you can go in and do your HTML and CSS. So, um, never hurts to go around and play with it, uh, but for the most part, out of the box, you shouldn't have to touch it too much. And so, even though you might have a particular theme, so let's look at uh, template layouts. Um, I apologize, let's go over here to more themes. They have tons of them, you know, pink chevron, and there's there's literally you know seven pages of these. So um, these are some newer ones. They tend to be kind of more specific. So for example, a flower shop, and then we come into here. They're a little bit more generic, but you can see I have this one I'm playing with right now. But let's say we want to do an electronic store or this foxing one garden shop jewelry store whatever it might be you can go ahead and play with it and then within the theme you can actually play with your widgets and if you notice right here this is kind of what it looks like the main site would look like if this was a dress store uh, we have category and other information here so what i've done is i've added it widgets for categories shop by price Etc. And so if you can see here on the main page, coffee, subcategory Hawaiian coffee, sample categories, and you can play around with the widget area, uh, the footer area right there as well. It's all done by choosing which ones you want to add in here. So we can do, you know, feature products in here, and we can do top sellers. Save that. Go ahead and refresh that, and you can see feature products and top sellers are in there now as well. So categories, like I said, you can create categories and subcategories and choose how they get shown, and inventory, managing products is quite easy. You can go in here, tell you whether it's available, whether it's a photo or thumbnail, whether it's taxable or not, and then for the most part, whether you want it to be sale price, you go in and edit it. Again, fairly basic. It has these little question marks here. I'll tell you what should go in there if you have little questions on it. Change the different pricing. It has what I call uh, map functionality. So if you have a provider that has a, a, a minimum advertised pricing, okay, you can't charge, you can't advertise this for less than $19.99, but you want to know what? You got a lot of them on sale and you want to charge $12.99. You can do the whole uh, add to cart to see price. So it's normally $19.99, um, but if they add it to the cart, they'll see it's $12.99. And that gets you around map pricing. What categories you want to go into, you can go into multiple categories. Descriptions, just like using Microsoft Word or another word processor. You can format it, and you can do colors, you can add pictures, both as a teaser as well as a description. Um, if you want to do a teaser for the mobile site, since it is mobile ready, when you do it on your phone, you can do that as well. And you can add in different search terms for when people are searching. Weights, it only supports kilograms and pounds right now. Um, but you can also do, uh, it doesn't do ounces like some of the other cards do. If there's a shipping surcharge, um, for example, bulky items, you might have a, a shipping surcharge you need to do. Um, you can do quantity-based pricing, meaning um, from 1 to 5 is $9.99, from 6 to 10 is uh, $4.99, and from 11 and above is $2.99. Track your inventory, search engine and tags, whether you want to upsell products. Vendors is just the manufacturer name. And there's some custom fields that I haven't really played around with. Allows you to add in images and including if you want to do a caption or an alt tag, which is important. And you can actually either upload an image or if you have a link to one. So let's say your supplier has a website and you just want the links, you can go ahead and link to it and it will pull it in itself as well. I haven't played with the advanced yet. Um, not really important right now. 
um, personalizations are kind of like your options or your variants and it has some option sets that I haven't been able to play around with yet um, or I've tried and I can't quite get it to work right now but that's okay so an option set is so let's say you have t-shirts for example and every t-shirt's always going to have three sizes small medium large and so you just want to set up an option set that has those all the time you can do that but for the most part for example I do coffee here roast medium dark track the inventory you can determine if it's a radio button or text field or check boxes etc whether it's required or not and whether it's enabled um, you can do that for all the different ones um, I'm having a little bit of problems trying to get both of these to show up and I just haven't had the time to really play around with it yet and then finally go to your advanced um, search priority for example or redirect URL um, you can password protect that particular product and if if you use QuickBooks you can do that coupons autoresponders all these things you can go ahead and play around with so um, again customers you can set up customer groups so if you have a wholesale customer versus retail customers I wouldn't say it's as so sophisticated as let's say AmeriCommerce in their wholesaling side of things but uh, pretty decent it's real similar to BigCommerce where you would probably have to set up separate products uh, if you have multiple pricing groups on that um, orders if you want to go ahead and track your orders you can even place phone orders uh, abandoned and live carts was always a nice functionality you know your site content is your about us terms and conditions they even have what's called a manual add to cart button so let's say you're running a blog somewhere and you want to add uh, to cart it will show up on someone else's website and then different blogs and commenting and tags like I said not the most sophisticated thing in the world but um, it is in there if you want to be able to use it again we talked about design uh, finally we have marketing including your coupons the only plugins that they currently have right now are kind of these which are automatically integrated so if you have a if you have a QuickBooks point of sale system great little this is for Twitter login um, they have a Pinterest functionality uh, this is one nice thing that other ones don't have is Indicia and I'll give you guys a link to that below uh, Indicia is a um, a kind of a stamp company that allows you to print packing slips and uh, stamps directly from a Dymo labeler and it will integrate in with eBay as well though it will not integrate in with Amazon and so it is they do have some but it's just not nearly as much as let's say Shopify or big commerce so again the best way to do it play around with it they give you a 15 day free trial so you can go ahead and play around with it for 15 days and figure out if it's the right one for you um, I'm probably gonna play around with it a little bit more um, but again the best ways to get in and play with it see if you can actually work with it or not um, that's usually the the biggest deal and um, if it has the functionality you need um, and you're able to play around with it it's fairly inexpensive it's a great way to start up a site so any other questions go ahead and let me know other words enjoy